Welcome back. The lawlessness in Joe Biden's America is being allowed to continue. And perpetrators are as brazen as ever. I have to warn you, the video you are about to see is rather graphic. Just last week, a man was caught on camera allegedly throwing a belt around a woman's neck before yanking her to the ground and dragging her between two cars where he allegedly sexually assaulted her. It's 2024. How are incidents like this still occurring? It has been reported the mother of the suspect encouraged him to turn himself in and he is now in custody. But this horrific scene should have never took place to even begin with. Joining us now to discuss, retired New Jersey police lieutenant and former U.S. Navy officer and former FBI National Joint Terrorism Task Force. You know him, you love him, Steve Rogers, also known as Captain America. Thank you so much for being back with us. It's great to see you. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Of course. Well, you know, I'm curious to know, where is the national coverage of this? I mean, TMZ is, I believe, the only national outlet I've seen cover this. Shouldn't Americans know what sort of criminal behavior is going around uh, in their city? Well, they should know, and they are beginning to realize that crime is on an uptick. I mean, a dramatic uptick because crime is now encroaching into every community across this country. Even the wealthiest of the wealthy are beginning to feel the, uh, the crimes being committed in their areas. Rapes, assaults, robberies, on and on and on. All the result of Democrat policies beginning at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue down to local municipal governments. Yeah, exactly. The uh, radical liberal policies certainly don't discriminate, uh, you know, even against the rich and the famous. Anyone saying that the streets of New York City are, are safe is just straight up lying to you. On that note, actor Steve Buscemi was just recently walking down a street minding his own business and he was punched in the face. Uh, so far, no arrests have been made. But what do you think, Captain America? Will these Hollywood celebrities, these very people endorsing and backing uh, these radical Democrat policies and the Democrats themselves uh, ever come forward and uh, speak out against this? Or are they just going to stay silent? Well, I believe at one point they, <clears throat> they will sooner rather than later because they are being victimized pretty badly as a result of what you just uh, mentioned. I mean, being punched in the face. Others are being assaulted. Others are being beaten in their neighborhoods. And sooner or later, they're going to have to speak out. Look, it's a matter of survival now. And by the way, I've said a long time ago, there should be a public service advisory to stay away from New York City. That should go worldwide. It is an absolute uh, disaster for anyone to live or work in the city of New York. They're putting their lives in danger. And somebody has to speak up. The government won't, but the people will this coming November. Yeah, they sure will. Well, getting back to the overwhelming crime, another suspect was arrested for allegedly slashing an 11-year-old girl's head with a box cutter and punching a 43-year-old woman. But when police made the arrest in Harlem, a mob broke out. Let's take a look at that moment, and then we'll come right back to you. Captain America, what is your insight into handling a situation like this? Well, sooner or later, the people are going to take the law into their own hands, and we're going to see that across the country because the reality is the police can no longer protect us the, the, the way they used to years ago. And the officers on the street will tell you that. They have been handcuffed. They no longer have the ability to do what they are called to do, and that's to protect and to serve. So if the police can't protect you, sooner or later, you're going to protect yourself. I hope it doesn't come to that. But this is only one video of probably thousands that we weren't able to capture over these past few years. Yeah, I mean, they just keep racking up every day. I see something new and more horrific than just the day before. It is horrifying and just mind boggling that anyone uh, would be in support of, of allowing these policies to continue. Uh, how, do, how do you think law enforcement agencies should collaborate with local communities to address crime that we're seeing right now? Well, years ago, we used to work together well with the FBI, uh, even with military intelligence at times, the CIA, uh, Homeland Security. We used to work together in sharing intelligence and information critical uh, to protect our national security, which begins on a local government level. Uh, NYPD has the greatest intelligence task forces on Earth. But let me say this to you. 
It's no longer as effective as it has been. Why? Because the mayor of New York City, he has defunded the police. Recruitments are low. Uh, uh, people that are retiring quicker than they can get in the door. I mean, it's pretty bad. It's very bad. And that's a result of leadership. Want to back the blue? I've said this all over the country. Go to the polls. Best way to back the blue is to show these politicians the door. Yeah, that is absolutely what needs to happen. I don't know if we even have a country if we continue uh, for this to allow. It is just so heartbreaking, so devastating, so many innocent lives being lost and, and broken because of uh, what's being allowed to happen here. Uh, I have another uh, strange story for you. Breitbart reported on a Texas transgender woman, so basically a man in a wig, who is accused of running over someone. Uh, getting out of the car and kissing and stabbing the victim who then did die. The suspect now has been charged with murder. But is it just me, Captain America, or do these crimes, as much as we see them uh, happening every day, they seem to be getting more bizarre, more strange. I mean, is this a, a symptom of mental illness in the country? Well, you were reading my mind. Absolutely right. Uh, these individuals have real critically mental illness problems that are not being addressed. But also keep in mind, uh, whether they're mentally ill or not, they're watching what we see come out of the mouths of politicians. And what's coming out of their mouths? Uh, words that are emboldening them, emboldening people to go out and commit crimes because there's not going to be severe penalties. So whether you're mentally ill or not, uh, as a matter of fact, if you commit a crime like that, I believe you should, you're mentally ill to begin with. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, is that people are emboldened. They believe that these policies are going to protect them and not the victims. Here we have the problems. It all goes back to where, at this time in our lives, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, the Democrat Party that has allowed these things to go on as a result of their policies that are created to protect the bad guys and not the good guys. Yeah, absolutely. And it's so sad because, unfortunately, too, the powers that be seemingly want to punish all of us law-abiding citizens for the crimes of, of a few. But doesn't that ultimately go against uh, collective penalties? Well, it sure does. Look, uh, I'm at a point where we need to have uh, our Congress, our state legislatures to mandate mandatory penalties. Mm -hmm. These judges aren't, pen uh, aren't penalizing these criminals. They're letting them go. DAs are letting them out on the street. So maybe we have to take some more control, rein the courts back in. They've been weaponized. They've been politicized. We really need a house cleaning here in the United States of America. And uh, look, I'm an eternal optimist like the guy you see behind me. Uh, a lot of hope for this country. We pray for our country and we put our faith to work by getting to the polls. That's the only alternative we have. It's a constitutional republic, for goodness sakes. Let's exercise that precious right to vote and put people who are concerned more about crime victims and those of us who want to walk the street safe than those who are committing these crimes. Amen to that. Well said. Stephen Rogers, Captain America, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, once again, it was great seeing you. Take care. Always a pleasure. I salute you and thank you. Thank you. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.